Hello, we are at the Link uh, Paris uh, 2023 and I'm Monika Kieler Oberpfalzer from Salzburg and I have the um, fun to interview uh, Patrick Nicholson from, and we speak about Evolve. Uh, you're having a very nice talk and I want to ask you, you know, the key features to use an Evolve. Can you explain that briefly? So for me, yeah, thank you. I'm glad to be here. For me, the key clinical benefits are its ease of use um, and the high wire braided nature of the stent, which we believe translates into better clinical and angiographic outcomes. So in terms of ease of use, the stent deploys very, very precisely um, and you can often position it exactly in the vessel where you want it to go. For me, this is a very big deal because you don't often need to drag and drop, resheath, recapture as much as you needed to do with previous generations of flow diverters. So say, for example, you want to deploy it and not cover an A1 ACA segment or you don't want to cover an anterior choroidal artery if possible, then you can do this very precisely with the Evolve and I really appreciate this. And then the, this, uh, the angiographic outcomes which translate into clini clinical outcomes, because of the 64 wire nature of the stent, I feel that it results in very good uh, aneurysm occlusion rates, so I'm very pleased with this as well. You also showed us very impressive clinical follow-up data, uh, why do you think is it with that stent uh so good. Mm. Again, I think it all harkens back to the re-engineered, redesigned nature of this new generation of flow diversion technology. The high wire, so as I mentioned in my presentation, lab and benchtop data from two independent labs showed that there was in a model a better flow diversion effect from this 64 wire braided stent uh, than compared with uh, other previous generation flow diverters. So I was pleased to see that that in fact translates into very competitive and very favorable aneurysm occlusion rates, which results in a better clinical outcome from our, from our patients. So I think that's all due to the, the engineering of the stent itself. The other nice thing about the stent is that it comes in a variety of sizes, including, as I showed, very large diameter, like five up to five by 40. So very large, very long stents, which can be very useful in challenging giant an aneurysms of the ICA in particular. The Evolve is the only stand at the moment uh, so far that is, has no coating or surface remodeling yeah. or whatever. So you didn't show higher thromboembolic complication as with the others. Why do you think is it like that? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased that there was no higher uh, not only was there no higher thromboembolic complication, in fact, when you compare it with previous large data sets from other flow diversion systems, the complication rate was on the lower side, so very pleased with that. Um, and yeah, we, the aneurysm occlusion rate is still pretty good, but we look forward to future generations of the Evolve platform, which are coming out with uh, different technologies which will perhaps allow us to use less antiplatelets or shorter duration antiplatelets in the future. So while the stent itself is very good right now, I'm also excited about using this as a platform for stents to come. Mm -hmm. So future better even results are on the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, we will of course need more data, but I was very pleased to participate in this data collection. So I'm looking forward to getting involved uh, as are many centers in the newer, newer generation to come down the line. There's a lot more to come. So it's a very exciting uh, platform to be involved with. Okay, thank you very much. Sure, thank you. <laughs>